Hiya and welcome. So in this video, first there's a speed paint that I did at the end, wait what month comes before September? I forget, but the month before September, <laughs> that sounds so silly. The month before September, at the very end of that month, I did this picture and it made me want to draw a picture every day of September to try to improve portraiture. Because I was so I was really happy with this when it was finished. It was my like my second time ever doing a watercolor, maybe third time ever doing a watercolor portrait. But I knew there was like some serious proportional issues. Like I was happy with the coloring, but the proportions were not working. Like it's a it's a picture of me when I was younger. And it, for one thing, it doesn't look like me, and for another, it doesn't look like a little girl all that much, at least not like me. And the the eyes aren't in line. I just needed more practice, and the nose shape was completely off. I I have a button nose, but that's not a button nose. <laughs> or at least I had a button nose when I was younger. So now this is looking through all the practice I did over that month, and then at the end we'll have another speed paint showing the final day of September, the picture that I did on the final day of September and how I improved. See that tiny sketch was trying to redraw it and fixing those proportional issues. So this was the first day and I did a picture of my mom. So <laughs> the first practice did not go super well and then I did it again and improved it a bit, trying to think about the, the like, direction of the head and then this, this ended up pretty great. But that was the first attempt, so so I thought I'd warm up and like practicing the same thing a few times. Though that didn't happen the rest like any other time. I should do that though, like doing the same thing multiple times, practicing. But it makes sense, practice does improve things. So this is what, day three, no, day two, day three, four, five. At this point it started going down a little bit for a little while. Um oh no, this is okay. Had the uh, soft pastel portrait. My aunt wanted me to draw her. And again, with actually, yeah, with practicing it to make it better. I at this point, in life, I uh, tried drawing a picture of someone without reference just to see if I'd improved at all or where I was at. Because obviously, this kind of stuff is done so that it can be applied to when I'm drawing cartoon people or just people from my imagination. So I was like, this is sort of directionless learning. Well, I guess it's not learning then. So I wanted to actually try to figure out how heads work. Yeah, these were a bit frustrating. I mean, that was okay. But yeah, wanted to learn, actively learn. And I, I had this thing in my head that I needed to learn the planes of the head, but looking it up, it wasn't quite what I was, actually needing so I looked at other tutorials and I discovered the Loomis method and watched some Proco tutorials and that was really helpful. Oh, That wasn't the only, th uh, heads weren't the only thing I was doing that month. Yeah so just did so much practice with that, just forgot about features for a while just trying to understand how a head works in 3D space. A few dodgy ones along the way still so much practice. What was that? The 15th day of the month? Halfway through. Starting to apply, like, putting features on these heads. It was fun putting, like, watercolour washes in sometimes to highlight my favourite sketch. Someone recommended I check out the Riley method, and I did, but it was a little bit too complex for me at that time. I was still trying to figure out the Loomis method and just wanting to get comfortable with that but next time I have an urge to get a load of practice then I'll probably go back to that and um, do a lot more practice with that method. A lot, a lot more practice. That was tricky, trying to get it tilting upwards. As you can see there's a lot of drawings of me in here because you know you're always ready to model for yourself and you know take pictures of yourself to practice with. I was really happy with that one. I like that hoodie, but not that face. <laughs> oh, um, if you look on my Instagram, you can find out more about this. I went to this culture night thing where we got to draw people from real life. It was in the local theatre. That was a lot of fun. Never got to you know, draw someone sitting for me. That was the first sitter and that was the second sitter. 
Ah, uh, here was the start of um, the Meds 100 Heads Challenge. You've seen plenty about that already. If you watched the other video, there's a whole video dedicated to all of these drawings that you're seeing now. And it was all the practice learning how to apply the things I'd learnt from all the practice on Loomis Heads. Like, practice putting features on top of it. And that was the final one in the challenge, but not in the Draw Ahead Every Day of the Month challenge. So I guess I'll run that speed paint now and you'll see it come together. While the colouring on the first portrait was good, I liked it, I felt like there was a bit of, it lacked some warmth, but like a nice warm glow that was in the original photo. So I decided instead of using a graphite pencil, I, guess, I don't know what, what's in coloured pencils, but I decided to use a, an erasable coloured pencil to sketch with instead of a grey one. And not spe even spending quite as much time on the sketch as I did originally, it came out so much better. Just like, I suppose it was from the practice and practicing just so, practicing so much drawing the form of the head and paying better attention to the reference and how things were positioned from each other. And drawing the head first, I think in the first, the first time round, I drew the hat too soon, but getting the head in first and then drawing the hat on top helped it make a lot more sense. And focusing on getting it positioned instead of drawing the features on too soon also helped. One thing I realised during the life drawing thing was that adding a bit of that red from my watercolour palette made the skin colour so much better than just using pink. Though the first time the colours in the flowers on the hat were so much better, um, as you can see there. And this was challenge complete. This was the final day, the final head. And I think I improved? Let's see. Where's the first one? So you give your opinion, what do you think? Do you think there was anything that was better at first and that I fell down on at the end? Do you think there was any particular things that really improved, like I think the teeth improved? <laughs> um, yeah, so tell me in the comments, give it, give it a comment, what do you think went on? Was there any improvement or did anything get worse? I said that already. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great weekend.